हेलो स्टूडेंट्स अगेन आई विल डिस्कस सम ऑफ द रिमेनिंग पैराग्राफ्स फ्रॉम सिल्क रोड आई गेस यू रिमेंबर्ड दैट आई ऑलरेडी टॉक्ट अबाउट द चैप्टर इन माय प्रीवियस ऑडियो लेक्चर सेशन आई टॉक्ट अबाउट निक मिडल्टन्स जर्नी टुवर्ड्स माउंट कैलाश एंड आई एंडेड uh my lecture or you can say my discussion related with uh tibetan mastiff dogs now i will continue from where i left and uh, i will continue from this line by now so let me continue and side by side i will explain also so listen uh to it very carefully by now we could see snow capped mountain now snow capped means snow covered mountains gathering on the horizon we entered a valley we means the author and as you know shitan and daniel they were also accompanying the author actually nick middleton he uh, apart from being an oxford university professor he was also an adventurer and uh, this particular travel log is related with his journey towards mount kailash and what are the hurdles or what are the difficult moments he faced or phases he faced and how bravely he uh, conquered those difficult phases the entire story is related with that and who are the people with whom he got acquainted there is also an important part of this particular travel log so let me continue we entered a valley where the river was wide and mostly clogged with ice clogged means covered actually there is no water everywhere it is ice it is totally covered with ice uh there was a river once but it is now completely dry and covered with ice clogged with ice or you can say covered with ice <clears throat> brilliant white and glinting in the sunshine glinting means glittering in the sunshine the trail hugged its bank twisting with the meanders meanders actually means the loops while crossing a river the several loopways that we come across while crossing a river meanders as we gradually gained height and the valley sides closed in so uh, crossing by those loop areas so they moved on the turns became sharper and the ride bumpier now the turns because they are still inside the car now the turns were more sharper and the ride became more bumpier bumpier in the sense they uh, it seems that the they were moving in the car the journey till now it was very smooth but now it seems that it be, it is uh, getting a bit difficult shita now in third gear as we continued to ascend the track moved away from the icy river laboring through steeper slopes that spotted big rocks dopped means covered with patches of bright orange lichen beneath the rocks hunks hunks means large large quantity we can say hunks of snow clung clung actually means to closely attach so i repeat hunks of snow clung on in the near permanent shade i felt the pressure building up in my ears held my nose snorted and cleared them now it happens with everyone suppose you are traveling in a mountainous region so as you go on ascending uh it happens that you hear less sounds and there is some breathing problem also it happens because of higher altitude so in and uh, there is a possible case of headache also so these things can be seen in case of the narrator also 
we struggle round another tight bend bend or you can say a loop you can say and then shetan stopped he had opened his door and jumped out of his seat before i realized what was going on snow said daniel as he too exited the vehicle letting in a breath of cold air as he did so now because they uh, the two people daniel and shitan they were very much acquainted they are they were very much familiar with the typical weather conditions in the mountain so shitan realized that there is no fall approaching or ahead we can say and daniel also so they both get down or alighted from the car now the moment daniel uh, get, get down from the car uh, as he was about to get down he opened the door of the car at that time a cold breeze blew inside in the car now the thing that they will do that along with the author they will now push the car because it is very difficult to continue the journey inside sitting inside the car and driving because there is snowfall ahead so they had to drive out the snow a swathe of white stuff lay across the track in front of us uh, we can say a trail of snow stretching means spreading for maybe 15 meters before it petered out and the dart trail reappeared now again after that by crossing that 15 meters again a dart trail reappeared once again the snow continued on either side of us smoothing the abrupt bank on the unslope side the bank was too steep for our vehicle to scale so there was no way round the snow patch i joined daniel as shitan stopped on the encrusted snow and began to slither and slide forward stamping his foot from time to time to ascertain how sturdy it was sturdy means well built it was i looked at my wrist watch and remember dear students uh, altimeter or height can be measured by the author's watch also we were at 5210 meters above sea level altimeter so obviously the height can be ascertained and as far as the author is concerned they were at 5210 meters above sea level so uh now it, it seems that they are now proceeding on foot and uh, they will later you will get to know they will disembark or rather they will take out the necessary belongings from the car so that the vehicle gets a bit lighter and they can actually move it now i am moving on to the next paragraph the snow didn't look too deep to me but the danger wasn't its depth daniel said so much as its icy top layer the icy top layer is more dangerous and uh, the important thing is that they had to move very cautiously if a slip here and there occurs then obviously it will be devastating so it is written here also if i uh, so i quote if we slip off the car could turn over and then it will be big problem we might end our life along with the car he suggested as we saw shitan grab grab actually means to hold something very tightly as we saw shitan grab handfuls of dirt and fling them fling means to throw and fling them across the frozen surface we both pissed in and when the snow was spread with soil daniel and i stayed out of the vehicle to lighten shitan's load 
we were out of the car and we were pushing the car and Shaitan was actually driving it as much as we can guide him because uh, if we get out from the car then obviously the weight of the car will be less the load will be less so that is what Daniel and the author did we both pissed in and when the snow was spread with soil Daniel and I stayed out of the vehicle to lighten Shitan's load. He backed up and drove towards the dirty snow, eased the car onto its icy surface and slowly drove its length without apparent difficulty. And slowly and slowly, because Shitan was an expert driver also as well as a tourist guide. So, he was quite acquainted or familiar with this place. So without any more apparent difficulty, he passed by that danger zone. Or rather we three passed by that danger zone. So let me continue. Ten minutes later, we stopped at another blockage. Now after ten minutes, there was another blockage means there was another slow fall on the middle of the road. Not good, sir. Shitan announced as he jumped out again to survey survey means to inspect as he jumped out again to survey the scene this time he decided to try and drive round the snow this time he decided to drive and uh, he decided to try and drive round the snow drive round the snow means encircling the snow and then moving very cautiously the slope was steep, very narrow and very steep and studded. Studded actually means covered by, scattered you can say, scudded with major rocks. But somehow Shitan negotiated them. Like an expert driver, he negotiated them. His four-wheel drive vehicle, lurching means moving, approaching or moving ahead, lurching from one obstacle to the next. In so doing, he cut off one of the hairpin bends, regaining the trial further up where the snow had not drifted. Now the reason for his putting a mark in that place with the help of a hairpin. With the help of a hairpin, he, he was very much eager to put a mark because that part was very steep and narrow and very risky. So, he was very much eager to make the other drivers who will come after them to be very cautious about this steep mountain slope or this steep mountainous loop. So, that was the reason he uh, kept a shot of a hairpin uh, there as a mark so that the other drivers who will follow them or who will actually come after them rather they will be cautious about this steep narrow place which is full of snow and there was repeated interruptions also on their way so dear students uh, i have discussed up to uh, uh, snow had not drifted in this particular audio presentation uh, please listen to this audio presentation in my next audio presentation i will move on from the next paragraph i will try to explain from the next paragraph uh, thank you students thank you all